What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'm going to talk about custom button assignments for the Elder Scrolls Online on console. In the past I talked about getting new at least button layouts and I'm not sure if we're ever going to get that because we've had the same button layouts for years on console. I'm hoping with all of the quality of life changes that Zoss is making eventually within the next maybe year, within this year of new content that they would actually look at uh, an option to either add new templates or a just custom button setting option for us console players. Whether you play on old gen or new gen, it doesn't really matter. The option to have custom buttons would be absolutely phenomenal. Now, of course, when I used to play on PS4 before I got my PS5, I used to have a PlayStation back button, which did help with some of the issues, in my opinion, with all of the, you know, different buttons and, and things you're having to use when playing the Elder Scrolls Online. I know there's things like, you know, scuff controllers, battle beavers, elite controllers on Xbox. But for the majority of players, some people may not want to spend that kind of money. And having the option to have a custom button assignment in the Elder Scrolls Online would be a phenomenal thing, in my opinion. Now, there's a lot of other games out there that do it. And if you look at the majority of them, they're probably first-person shooters. I, th I think of things like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Battlefields. All those games actually give you the option to go in and change your uh, you know, buttons to whatever you want it to be. You map that particular button to whatever button you want it to be on your controller. And I think if we had the option to map our buttons to our controller in uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. It would make things a lot easier. I know a lot of people complain about having to bar swap with you know the touchpad. And since I've been off the PS4 and on the PS5, it has been hard for me to get used to using the touchpad again because I used the back button for so long. That's what I used to bar swap with. But in general, having the option to actually customize those controller buttons within the game would be great because yes you can go in and customize your buttons on the console you know just kind of individually but if you're going to do that you're going to have to go back in anytime you're playing anything else and actually change those buttons back so a lot of people don't like to fool with that and of course it does mess up you know your dashboard and everything else so whatever buttons you have you know saved on your ps5 at that point or your xbox uh, that's going to be what buttons you use you know when navigating the home screens and everything else so a lot of people don't like having to do that and I think Zosh really needs to look at adding a custom button assignment option to the Elder Scrolls Online's console version for this particular reason. That way you can just use it in the, you know, in this particular game and not have to worry about going out to your, you know, platform setting and actually changing those custom button templates back from the console itself. So hopefully Zosh will start adding or start considering adding something in like this. I really hope that they would, you know, kind of look at this in the future. I, I was kind of hoping it would already be in here already, if you want to be honest. But we are getting a lot of quality of life stuff within the game. It seems like this year, I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed with, you know, some of the DLC that's coming out. There's nothing really big like there has been in past years. Yes, we're getting a new zone. Some people are kind of upset with the card game idea. But it seems like they're doing a lot of kind of back-end fixes and just cleaning up things that are already in-game. And hopefully, something like a custom button uh, setting option will be something that Zoss will look at uh, this year and hopefully uh, I'm, I'm going to continue to tweet them about it and, and you know kind of get a conversation going there with some of the community managers and things and hopefully I can get a response and maybe eventually we'll get some kind of option to where it's a little bit easier to use a controller on console and actually have your you know abilities and things laid out exactly like you want. Anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you liked the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and I'll catch you next time. Peace.